That is one big pile of mulch. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> Need to get some duck eggs. Did you guys lay us some eggs? Look at all these eggs. Dang. Everyone laid an egg. Well, hey there, guys. How are you doing? Feels like a minute since I've talked to you. We are out in the garden today. I started this project last weekend after we got, ooh, it's bright out here. After we got our rooster coop set up, it's now the following weekend and I am going to try and complete a little bit more of it at the very least. It is like 65 degrees out today. The real feels 70 and it's just an absolutely beautiful day. It's February 2nd today and it is almost 70 degrees, which is just insane. My brain still has a hard time comprehending that. I did film a little bit of this project last weekend while I was working on it, so I'll probably pop that in here in a second just to show you the full process. But basically what we are doing is mulching garden pathways. So one of my biggest goals for the garden this year is to have to weed less. And to put that plan in action, I need to mulch things. Primarily our pathways, that's kind of where all of the, the weeds creep in from at this point. And one of the main goals for our garden long term is to make it no till, no dig, a combination of those things. So we're gonna try not to till this year if we don't have to. We're heavily mulching things. We're gonna have our roosters cleaning up these beds and fertilizing them for us, having them covered up with straw, but our wood chipper is still broken. 
and we can't really afford to get a new one right now. However, over Christmas, we had some tree trimmers across the street from us a little ways down the road and we went and asked them if we could have their mulch. Our neighbors got to it before we could, but that's okay. We got their number and they said they'd come back to us when they were in the area again and had mulch. So earlier this week, they came, knocked on our door and surprised us with a whole truckload of mulch and a whole truckload of logs too. So we didn't, we're gonna cut those up, use those for firewood for the most part because it's mostly not rotten. And I'm gonna take you over there and show you how much mulch they gave us. It's kind of insane. That is one big pile of mulch. It's gotta be probably about 10 yards. We are gonna mulch all of our pathways with that as much as possible until we run out. Last summer we mulched this entire trellis path with thick mulch and cardboard underneath and that did super well. So at most we had maybe one or two tiny little patches of grass that popped back through. We're gonna re-mulch this so that it stays nice and weed free. We're gonna, f the, the winds here have been terrible so excuse the chaos that's happening around here. Um, we're gonna focus on these smaller pathways in between the beds here because those aren't big enough to use the lawnmower in and I have to use a weed whacker and it's not, it's not ideal. This main path and this main path are big enough to use the lawnmower. So I'm gonna do those last if I have to, just in case I end up having to ration those wood chips. <laughs> it's windy out here and I apologize. This is the day that I have to work on things. I can't fix that, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was able to get this pathway, that pathway, and that pathway mulched. I think I have 15 more to do. Now, I could get the lawnmower out, but I don't wanna get into it. It's a whole fiasco trying to get the lawnmower out and usable at the moment, and Taylor's at work right now. So, I don't feel like doing that by myself. I am just gonna manually haul the dump cart and it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get a little workout and it's okay. <laughs> lay down cardboard first, which is my absolute least favorite part of this process. Well, not the laying, not laying the cardboard down. I hate taking the tape off all of the cardboard. For some reason, that part just annoys me so much that I like don't even wanna do any of it. <laughs> the rest of it I'm fine with, but the take, taking the tape off of it, I'm just like, oh, it's the most frustrating task. So I have a little pile here and then I put a pile out the other day We've had some ridiculous winds lately. You can see our tarps are all over the place. Um, we've, have, we've had a lot of wind lately. So the cardboard I put out the other day is now just sprawled across the property into the woods and I need to go forage the cardboard as well. 
when I run out of this little pile. Is so windy I am gonna just do these one pathway section at a time like I'm gonna go get mulch now that I did this I should have gotten mulch first but I forgot that was my process last week because I'm worried that if I lay out more than one section at a time it's just gonna blow all over the place and I'm gonna have to go pick it up and do it all over again and I just don't really want to do that today <laughs> up some wood chips with my boot. Today's project is out in the garden yet again. I need a break from mulching for the moment. So Taylor is gonna help me move our tomato trellises to here. They're gonna go in these beds this year, just trying to rotate things. 
and I think that I want them just a little bit closer to where I frequent. But first, we got the chainsaw out. He's gonna be chainsawing today in general, but this tree is a Radford pear. We're not gonna cut it all the way down because we like a little bit of shade in the garden yet. We will be cutting it down eventually, but for now, it just needs to be heavily pruned. So we're gonna cut off some of the trunks. You can see there are a bunch of them. Yeah, I mean, I'll take these three little trunks that are all kind of coming this way. Those guys? Um, I think I might just do those for now. Okay. And then I'll actually, because the rest of the like big trunks I want to take out, I can fall, get to go the other way, I think. Even this one? That one's kind of leans this way. Yeah, so I think... I can probably, I'll, it'll, they'll both have to, well, I'll have to take that one off first, but I can probably get both of these to fall that way. been mulching and working on the garden. Taylor's been working on clearing up our orchard so it looks super good right now but we have some trees that still need to come out so he's about to cut that one and the one next to it down and I think at some point we'll be doing more but for now it's just those two. Did you guys see how easily that just got turned up with the rake and the hoe? The amount that I had to till this last year was insane. We just covered it up. I'm trying to switch to no-till if I can for as much as I can. And this is such an improvement. <laughs> this was like make a mug out of it clay last year. It's so fluffy. It makes me really excited to see how much better our growing situation is going to be this summer. All right, I had to move you out of the sun. It gets really hard to film at this point in the day because the sun is like, it feels like it's directly in my eyes, like parallel to me. We got these at our local nursery this fall and the intention was to plant them this fall. But as you can see, we didn't get around to that. We actually planted one of the bags out of the three. I think we planted our red onions. These are onion sets and they were like really, really cheap. So we just figured we'd get them and try it. As you can see, some of them are starting to sprout. Um, and some of them might not be good anymore, but I'm just gonna plant them because we have them. Figure we might as well throw them in the ground and hope that they actually grow. <laughs> so we have white onions. I have yellow ones 
that bed that I just raked up, I dug a little I dug a little trench. We're gonna plant these onions, the extra onions in this trench, and they are gonna be companion plants for our tomatoes. I'm just gonna pick a bag and start plopping them in the ground. As you can see with the garlic beds back here, we are going to try putting straw on things to mulch them this year because we finally found a source of not sprayed straw and so we're using that as our bird bedding from now on and that means they'll fertilize it and we'll be able to put it in the garden or turn it into compost depending on who it's coming from. I'm going to take the straw that is the duck bedding, put it right on these beds because duck poop is not hot compost. You can use it right on the garden. You don't have to wait for it to age. Chicken, chicken poo, however, needs to age or else it's just too much for your plants. Now I need to go replace the duck bedding so they have a cozy place to sleep tonight. And then I think I'm going to call it a night and go edit this video for you guys. <laughs> I am exhausted. <laughs> hey bud. Come see mama. Come here. Oh, you need some pets. I can get it on camera. <laughs> Why do you like kicking yourself in the face? <laughs> he literally jumps into a somersault. We're just cutting all the stumps off as close as we can to the ground, basically so I don't hit them with the lawnmower. Um, so I just cut them off like within an inch of the ground usually. And then we are going to attempt to kill them with white vinegar. So we'll come out here some night this week and drill down into the stump and make like a little vinegar cup. Hopefully that'll kind of kill the root system so we don't get a bunch of trees coming back where these ones were. But also since they're cut so low and I can mow over them, you know, like any fresh shoots that come up now will just get mowed over. Yeah. Overall, we're just trying to clear down here. So yeah, we're trying to get the center cleared out. Um, and then once the, the middle run is clear here, then we're gonna bring the tree line back to the uh, old fence line. And further down, you can see there's a, another berm there. So we're gonna try and open that berm up for us to plant things rather than whatever's there right now. It's mostly tulip poplar, but yeah. there's some other random stuff. There's pears mixed in too, so. Yeah, I mean, overall, this is just 
it was extremely overgrown and we would like to prep it to be an actual orchard and the poison ivy down here gets kind of crazy and so do the ticks in the spring. So we are going to try and keep this nice and mowed and cut down and everything. We don't want a bunch of trees growing in the middle of this for that reason um, and it will just be easier to maintain it until we can get the goats to keep it maintained and also trees in here to actually start our orchard. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it would be great, like, next fall or this fall, 24, if we could maybe start planting a few trees in here and get the actual orchard started, so. We have blueberry bushes. We're going to plant raspberry bushes down here, and it would be cool to get some trees, but they just haven't been in the budget, so hopefully soon we're going to be able to get some of those, but for now we're just kind of prepping it and trying to make our lives this summer easier when it comes to mowing and maintaining this area. We're gonna clean up and then go eat some dinner and sit on the couch and edit a video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys.